Good afternoon, everybody. I'm coming back with another TTM video for everyone. Um, this is actually covering a couple of days. Um, I haven't gotten around to doing a TTM video in a few days. So this is going to be Friday, Saturday, and Monday. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video. And this will get me caught back up again so that we can uh, stay on track, hopefully. But uh, we'll start off with this card return. I got one card return, the rest are photos. So this first return is coming out of Metroplex, Michigan. And it's a one of three success in 16 days. Person didn't sign the two index cards I sent, but did return this wonderful 1992-93 Fleur Ultra. And it's from Mr. Todd, either Krygear or Krygear. I'm sure I'm probably butchering that. But another a Tony Black return. So as always, uh, thanks, Tony. And uh, signed it in blue Sharpie. Looks fantastic with the number 21 right there. Couldn't be happier. So we got Mr. Todd Krygear in 16 days. And as always, guys, you know, I'll put the uh, addresses in the description so you guys don't have to look for these if you're interested in sending. So this one is a two of two success in eight days, and it's coming out of Knoxville, Tennessee. And this one, this is one that I really, really wanted to get for my daughter. It came out fantastic. So this is Mary Costa who was the voice of Princess Aurora in Sleeping Beauty. And the thing I noticed about Miss Acosta, Miss Costa, sorry, she has the best writing I have ever seen. So up here she put, uh, to my special friend Brandon, it says, with love and admiration, Mary Costa, Princess Aurora, Sleeping Beauty 2020. So, of course... Because uh, I was reaching out to her, I had to include the photo of Sleeping Beauty just so that I can get it for my daughter. And then I also included a photo of her, looks like working with the artist. And so she put up here to Karina and Brandon with love and admiration, Mary Costa, Princess Aurora Sleeping Beauty 2020. So there's the artist with the picture of Princess Aurora and then... Mary. So I was excited to get these back. My daughter was screaming when I opened them up. She was so happy. So that was a plus. And can't beat eight days. She got back, like I said, in eight days. So handwriting is phenomenal out of Knoxville, Tennessee. Next we have a one of one success in eight days out of Burlington. Is that Vermont? I think it's Vermont. And when I got this back, I was thinking of uh, Chris Graffs because I know he's in the, the political autographs. And uh, this guy is hilarious. I don't know what else to say. Um, one thing comes to mind, and I'll do it. I'll I'll look like I'll look like an idiot when I do it for you guys, but I'll do it. I'll sound like an idiot. And it is no, none other than Mr. Howard Dean. And so he uh, signed this to Brandon. Best wishes, Howard Dean. You can see that his signature is kind of uh, not much to it. And it's smeared a little bit. Always a bummer. But he was uh, a Democrat uh, nominee for president. He was trying to get the nominee for president. And was actually a front runner when he was running. Until he did a famous, I don't know what you want to call it. I guess nowadays it would be a meme, but he did a famous thing that just kind of crashed his run. And uh, Dave Chappelle made fun of it. Everybody's made fun of it. And uh, when he was uh, when he was up there speaking to the crowd, he did this whole yeah! kind of thing. And it was just hilarious and mocked everywhere and... Uh, if you haven't seen it, you got to YouTube it. It's hilarious. I could watch it over and over and over again. But uh, Mr. Howard Dean was nice enough to sign for me. And again, it was only eight days, so cannot complain. 
The next thing we have, next return we have, is also coming out of Metroplex, Michigan. And it was a two of three success in 16 days. The only thing that wasn't signed was the index card, of course. And this is from Mr. Eugene Marv. So I got this 1991 score photo when he was on the Buccaneers. And so he inscribed the Go Bucks, Eugene Marv, number 99. All the best in Christ. Very, very nice of him. He does sign, just so you guys know, he does sign an ink pen. And while ink pen does okay on cards, uh, in my experience, which has only been a couple of times, it does not do that well on photos. So it looks like all of his uh, returns are in ink pen. So if you send to Mr. Marv, know that it's going to be ink pen. So kind of plan ahead for that one. The second photo I got was when he was on the Buffalo Bills. And so he inscribed Go Bills, Eugene Marv. And then all the best in Christ. And he inscribed number 54, but you could tell he was having problems with that ink pen again on the photo. Just does not work on the photos that well. So, but we did get two successes back from Mr. Marv. So thank you, sir, for getting those back. I appreciate it. Again, that one took 16 days. And from what I can tell, he is a great signer. He'll, he'll sign pretty much anything that you send him. This one is coming out of Los Angeles, California. It's a two of two success in nine days. And when I got this one back, this is another one my daughter got it really excited about. And I won't say anything. I'll show you guys first because um, it's kind of like really a seven-year-old would get excited, but I'll explain. So it's Mr. Kurt. I'm sorry, Kurt Fuller. So I have one in his earlier days acting. Did it in red Sharpie. And then I have second photo of Mr. Kurt Fuller, which is more recent. And he's this guy's been in a lot of stuff. Fantastic actor. Um, whether it be a starring role, kind of a supporting role, or just a, a spot here and there, he does a great job. But when I pulled this photo out, my daughter got extremely excited. And um, just to let you know, my daughter... Um, I think I've said it before on this channel. She is a huge Ghostbusters and Ghostbusters 2 fan. She loves the original Ghostbusters. So she's excited about the uh, the sequel to those movies coming out uh, here probably next year or the year after, depending on how things are going with this virus. But um, when she saw this, she just got so excited because he was in Ghostbusters 2, and she remembered him right away, of course, and... So I do have kind of a Ghostbusters autograph collection going, trying to go. And so anytime I can get something back from an actor in Ghostbusters, she gets excited. So that is why she was thrilled to get this back in the mail. And I, I kind of laughed when I saw her get excited about it because I was like, only my daughter would get excited about getting Kurt Fuller's autograph back. But it's because he was in Ghostbusters too. So that is why. So another point for dad on that one. And the last one I got back is coming out of Nashville, Tennessee. It's a three of three success in 162 days. Now I knew this was out one. This one was out for a while just because my tags have Christmas tags on them, so I knew it had been a while. And it is Mr. Ernest Biner. So I got this photo of a 92 Pro Set, I believe, 91 or 92 Pro Set, and he signed it in blue sharpie, and it's smeared. Uh, quite a bit actually but got that signed and then a photo of a 1986 tops Ernest Biner a, a blue sharpie again this one's smeared but not as much smeared kind of like right there and a little bit along here when he's with the Cleveland Browns and I, I wouldn't call this a signature I guess but he Put his initials and both his jersey numbers on the index card for me. So in my little um, page protector that I use to separate each return out, I'll still put it in there. It'll look nice. So I call it a 3 of 3 success just because he had wrote on the index card for me. But I mean, I guess it's not a signature, but I'll count it. So we got Mr. Biner, two photos and an index card. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. And so, guys, those are all my returns. That gets me caught up through Monday. So hopefully I'll stay up uh, stay up on it again. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, 
I hope you do. I'd really appreciate it. Working towards the 250 mark now. And as always, guys, I hope you guys are staying safe. I know it can be kind of hard sometimes with this stay in place and kind of feeling like you have to stay at home and trying to do the best you can. But uh, just remember, things could always be worse. So be thankful for what we have. Stay blessed. Until our next video, see ya.